Hello everybody and welcome to number 91 and my uh, breakdown of the top 100 games for your Sinclair and today I will be playing Avalon from uh, Houston Consultants which I always knew as Houston I, and I don't know why perhaps I was misinformed this was programmed or designed by Steve Turner who was also responsible for such games as Ivan Einwen Stewart Super Off Road, uh, Rana Rama, and Zynaps. I liked those last three games. I wasn't a fan of this game. Uh, as I said, this was 1984, and when this came out, I was nine years old. Uh, I didn't play this game when it came out, and I possibly would have disliked it when it came out as well. The reason being, there isn't much information given to you of what to do within this game at all. You're basically a floating wizard called Maroc. This is what I picked up online. And your goal is to complete the quest to destroy the Lord of Chaos. So you bob around this entire village, town, square room area, picking up spells, getting strong as you go, uh, until you complete the whole game and defeat Lord of Chaos. I didn't complete the game. Uh, the There's a couple of aspects I do like about this game. The first one is a big one, is the, you have the ability within the game to freeze this game and save your progress at any point. So you freeze it, put a cassette in and save it. So, say it was bedtime and nine-year-old me who may have been playing this game at one time, I didn't by the way, I could freeze the game, save it, go to bed, and the following day, carry on where I left off. Uh, and the second part, which I think Steve Turner was, uh, could claim a bit of merit for, was this is technically a precursor for such games as like the Monkey Island games. This is a, a initial point-and-click adventure, if you will. This is what he classes as an adventure, 3D adventure movie, where you go around this world you get to a place, you see something, you click fire button, and then you get a list of options of what you want to do. So you can move, you can cast a spell, you can, well, do whatever the options are available. However, when it came to casting spells, I have to admit, I didn't know spells were available up until this point of where I clicked on this treasure chest and I noticed these spells had appeared. I picked up spells, I died here by the way. Uh, I picked up spells along the way, but at no point was I informed what the spells did, that I could now use spells, like, nothing like that. All that happens in the bottom left corner under that red dragon, the word magic flashed, and then disappeared. So I've started the game again. Now you can see me looking at the spells there. I noticed I had spells. The problem is, is, well, along with the movement, You'll see that quite often I'll go up to a door, bounce into the door, bounce back off the door, and then the door will open. Uh, it's that when you want to use a spell, you've got to, one, stop moving, two, scroll through the spells, and the scrolling through the spells is an absolute nightmare, because you'll rapidly go past the one you want, then select the spell, then once again you've got to then scroll through the spells to move again and then click on move and then start moving you can't just then you can't just click move or click a button to spell or associate a key or anything like that well not that I found if there is a way it's not explained to you in the game it's a pain in the backside not only, as I said, with the movement, when you go up to a door, you bounce off the door, the door opens, and when you go back, the door begins to close. That's if the door actually opens. Or, as you can see, that fish on the floor is an object to pick up, and I've got to try and carefully float over it. I died again. Oops. A pest. The game isn't fun. That's me saying that. I didn't enjoy it. If you, the watch of this video did enjoy this game and you found it easy and you don't know why I'm hating it 
please let me know. There's me using the spell right now, using the freeze spell. So I have to click on it, then I'm going to move again. And by the time I've got out of this door, which has just closed in front of me, those people have just frozen, will now come back to moving. So if you enjoyed the game, and you liked it, and if you completed it, just put a, put a comment below telling me why you did enjoy it. Because I could have got the complete wrong end of the stick, and just hate it because of the control and the movement and the stupid way of using spells. Let me know. But for me, yes, Steve Turner could have been breaking moulds back in 1984, and I do give him some, well, brownie points for it, but this game isn't fun now. It's stiff, it's bouncy, the control method's awkward, and I really don't like it. But I'm looking forward to the next one, number 90, and I will see you all later. Cheerio, bye bye.